Okay, we're gonna learn how to set up the compact bender for 90 degree bends. If you wanna do scroll bends, that's an entirely different setup. We'll deal with that in a different video. First thing you wanna do is remove the scroll attachment if it is installed in the compact bender. I should also mention that this particular setup is for bending flat stock only, okay? If you wanna bend round stock or any other shape, that's a different setup altogether and we'll deal with that in a different video. Also, you should not bend any flat stock thicker than an eighth inch on this compact bender. So this is the setup that you want right here, okay? This is what you want to accomplish, all right? So we've got the arm coming out at 90 degrees to the right, okay? We've got a short pin and a small die, okay? On the outside, like that, okay? The arm is actually into the rest of the stand on the second big hole, as you can see right here, okay? So you just wanna line that up with the second big hole. And you want the long pin here, okay? There's two sizes of pins, there's a short and a long should be a short here come so and a long here like that okay so that's how we do that part now we have the um the bending plate right here okay so the way we're going to do this is again you have a short pin and again watch out when you pull stuff out of this you don't want anything falling on your toes okay so you can see we have a, oh, sorry, this is a long pin here, okay? And this is the bending plate, okay? And then we also have a, um, I don't know, a little block here. It's like, a, it's like a, a bushing of some sort, okay? It's a spacer, there you go, it's a spacer, okay? So the way this guy goes in is this uh, notch here should be facing away from you. Okay, and the flat side should be facing left, right? This is what the other side looks like. Okay, and I've got the spacer in the third hole, as you can see right there. Okay, and then I'm going to add, or I'm going to put the, uh, the bending plate in the hole right next to it. Okay, so if you're looking at the top, that's the second big hole. Okay, if you're looking at the bottom, again, it's the second big hole and the spacer's in the third. Okay, we're gonna bend this short welded hook first because it'll allow you to see this idea of a fulcrum and lining up the fulcrum with uh, our layout lines here, okay? So this hook, we have to bend at 45 degrees. So it's a good idea, again, to indicate 45 degrees, put a 45 on there, so that you don't mess up your uh, your angles. Okay, this this one's pretty hard to mess up because there's only one angle. But the next piece that we're gonna see next, you, you'll notice that there's a lot of angles, so it's easily uh, it's easy to make a mistake. So here we go. I'm gonna slide this uh, piece into the bender. Okay, this is my bending plate right here. Um, I've got my arm. Um, basically all the way counterclockwise okay so it's easy to slide my workpiece in there okay and keep your eye on the sharpie mark okay and I'm gonna start to turn the handle uh, clockwise okay and it's gonna tighten up on my workpiece uh, very soon here okay and right there now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get that sharpie line to be completely covered up by the bending plate, okay? But I'm, I gotta be square, okay? So I can just see the tip of it, okay, just the, the edge, I should say, of my Sharpie line, okay? And then I tighten up just like that, okay? By turning the handle clockwise, okay? Now my workpiece is nice and square in the bender, and I can begin to make my, my bend, okay? And I'm going 45 degrees, that's half of 90. So it's, it's very easy to go too far. So you're better to bend a little bit, check it, bend a little bit more, check it again before uh, 
before you go too far. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I'm going to take it out now, and I'm going to check it. Okay, I can tell right away that's not 45 degrees, but uh, we'll check it just in case. And you can see right there. Yeah, I've got to go a little bit further. Not much though. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to put it back into the bender. Okay, I'm going to line it up again. Okay, and I'm going to go just a touch further. Okay, let's check that. Okay, uh, it went a little bit further, but still not far enough. So we'll do it again. Make sure it's lined up. Hmm, I think we got it. There we have it, a perfect 45 degree angle bent. Okay, so that's how you bend these short little welded on hooks, okay? And I should finally mention before we move on to our next piece, make sure that you deburr your pieces before you do all this bending, okay? It's a lot easier to do it first than after you bend like this, okay? Although this piece ain't bad. This piece you could go back and, and do it relatively easily and safely. However, the longer and the more complicated your work pieces get, uh, the more difficult it becomes to deburr after. So it's best practice to deburr before you do any bending. Okay, we're going to move on to bending the long hook now. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to use the compact bender to bend this exact hook right here. Okay. This is the end product, and to use this tool, you have to be able to see or visualize the end product. If you can't, then what's going to happen is you're going to just you're going to put the workpiece in uh, the bender the wrong way, and you're going to bend the wrong angle, or you're going to bend the wrong side, or something like that. Okay, so this is what we're trying to accomplish. We've got two 90 degree angles right here. And we've got on this side a 90 and a 45, okay? So I'll show you guys what the uh, flat bar looks like before uh, we start to bend. So on one side of the flat bar, I've got all my layout lines according to the plans, okay? And I've also indicated, as you can see here, the degree of bend, okay? So I don't get confused uh, about the angles. So you can see here, these two lines, I have to bend at 90 degrees. On this side, you can see that I have to bend at 90, and this one right here at 45. Okay, you'll also notice that I have these lines on both sides of my workpiece. And that's because we need to flip the workpiece around. Otherwise, our angles are going to be um, going the wrong way. Okay, so I've got lines on either side. And on this side, I don't have lines on the other side. Okay, so if I step away, this is what it looks like on one side. And this is what it looks like on the other. Alright. So let's begin. I'm going to begin, my first bend is going to be this one. Then my second is going to be this one. Okay, my 290s, my side with my 290s. The side with the 45 is going to be later. I should also uh, mention before I start that I've also deburred this piece. All right, it's easier to deburr now than it is later. All right, so take a file, get all those burrs off, and make your project or your piece looking really nice uh, while you still can. Okay, so I'm going to. Um, slide the arm all the way to the right then I'm gonna slide my workpiece into the bender and I'm gonna start to turn the bender clockwise until it gets tight and this is my fulcrum right here okay this is the pivot point this is where it's gonna bend this bending plate alright so what I'm trying to do is I'm lining up my my sharpie line with the bending plate okay and I want to get the entire Sharpie line behind the bending plate. 
but I should still be able to see a little bit of the Sharpie line, okay? Just like that right there, okay? Um, it's also important that we line up correctly because if we don't, we're going to bend a crooked angle, okay? So I'm going to see if I can zoom in so that you can see what I just did here, okay? So you can see, you can just barely see my Sharpie line, okay? And I'm going to zoom back out. Okay, now we're ready to bend, okay? So I want 90 degrees. So I'm looking right at my piece and I got to stop at 90. Okay, here we go. Oops, I went too far, right? Common mistake, this is a guaranteed mistake, all right? If I take a little square here, right, I can very easily see that I went too far. Not a big deal. We can fix that very easily right here. Just stick it in the slot and then pull it back a little bit. Okay. Oh, oops, I went too far the other way. Okay, stick it back in the bender. Make sure it's in the same position as it was before and just tweak it. Okay, and get that nice, perfect 90 degree angle. If you have trouble telling what a 90 degree angle is, use some sort of a square. Okay, so I can see I still need a little bit of adjustment there. So I'm going to do that. Just give it a little pull. There we go, that's perfect right there. Okay, so I've got my first line bent. Okay, now I'm gonna bend my second line right here, again, 90 degrees. So look how I'm gonna insert the flat bar into the bender, okay? I've got the bar, or the arm all the way to the right. Okay, now I can slide it in there. And I'm gonna turn the arm clockwise, again, just slightly on that Sharpie line. All right. Right there. Okay, and I'm gonna bend 90 degrees again. Okay, and if you have trouble taking out your workpiece after this bend, then all you have to do is just take this die off. Okay, again, watch your toes. Don't let it fall on your toes. Okay, put the die back in. And now I have that bend right there. Okay, so we have the top hook of our project bent. Now we gotta do the bottom hook, okay? Now this is where, again, you wanna bend in the right direction, otherwise you're gonna have some problems. Okay, so I'm going to insert my project this way. Okay, so the hook right now is facing me, right? You can see that. Okay, now I'm going to slide it in there. Same procedure as before, but I'm going to bend that 45 degree line first. If I don't bend that first, then I won't be able to slide uh, this flat bar in there to do it later. Okay, so I'm going to do the 45 degree line. Same procedure as before. Okay. But now we want we want to bend it halfway, right? We don't want a full 90 degree bend. Okay. Okay, and I have a square here with a 45 degree angle. Okay? And according to this, I need just a touch more. Okay, just a touch more.
a little bit more, right? Just take your time. Perfect, perfect 45 degree angle. Okay, as you can see right here. Okay, now we're gonna do our final bend, which is this 90 degree line right there. Okay, so again, get the arm all the way to the right, turn it counterclockwise, then turn it clockwise, and again, tighten up on that Sharpie line. Okay, make sure your piece, work piece is square in your bender, and we're going for 90 degrees again. Oh, and I went a little bit too far on this one, not a big deal. We'll just straighten that out. And there you have it, folks. We have our hook. This is the long hook in the project. The short hook is uh, very similar. Um, it's the same bends, it's just less of a span right here, okay?